Hello and welcome back to my channel, Simshine. Today I'm building a tiny house. I've gone for building the smallest type of tiny house, which has to be under the 32 tiles in the game. First of all, I got all the basic items that I needed for the house and put them onto the lot. This was really to remind me what I was working with space-wise. So the style of the house became very eco-styled tiny home in the end. I didn't start out with this idea, this kind of developed as I was building. I am so glad that we now have ladders in the game, otherwise this build would have been very hard to try and make um, normal stairs work. I don't think this build would have been possible without the island counter and the stalls in the kitchen to be honest and I was glad to have that very simple shower that came from the university pack in the game. I had to keep play testing this house to make sure everything was still functional hence why you can see my sim self from time to time trying things out in the house. The biggest problem I had was trying to fit the bathroom into this space. Upstairs felt bigger than it actually was and as soon as I put the bed in there wasn't a huge amount of space left. I did however really want to avoid using that dreaded Murphy bed that was introduced with the tiny living pack. I've had far too many sims killed by this bed so I really wanted to avoid it. I do wish we had smaller sliding doors in The Sims or just doors that took up less of a footprint, I don't know. Um, particularly when it came to putting in the downstairs toilet area. Also, maybe a much smaller sink could be in the game, I don't know. So I added the TV above the breakfast bar area on a whim. My sim self, when I was playtesting, uh, seemed to get pretty low on fun, so I thought I'd better throw in something like a TV. <laughs> uh, I didn't think it was going to work uh, where it was placed, but my sim managed to watch TV whilst eating grilled cheese, <laughs> that is some life goals there, sat on the stool, <laughs> so I was super pleased about that. So moving outside, initially I didn't really plan for a garden or outside space. Um, I realised if I put a fence down this added to the tile footprint so the house would not have been a tiny house on tier 1 anymore. Oh, I just feel like I'm talking about coronavirus and the lockdown in this country and about tears. <laughs> Let's ignore that. Um, anyway, where were we? <laughs> So 
So I downloaded the Star Wars pack recently and I'm surprised actually how much I like the items that came with it because honestly I was expecting more sci-fi type items that I'd never really use unless I was doing a sci-fi build. Um, so this picnic bench was another item that really surprised me from this pack. And I love these wall planters too, although they're not from the Star Wars pack. Um, they just felt so right for this build. So at this point, my way of getting around not being able to put a fence down due to the tile footprinting, this is what I did. Uh, but I realised um, it just looked a bit naff really and ditched it in the end. I'm glad I got rid of those lights too, because to me it just, I don't know, doesn't look right. <laughs> So the pool was a last minute idea that I got very carried away with. Uh, I just thought it would look pretty cool to have a natural style pool with an eco house really. Uh, I'd spend much longer on the natural pool in the end than I did on the house but I really liked the idea of it. I then thought a waterfall in the lower pool would look even more natural and amazing and then I got pretty carried away with that with all the water jets so I have cut out some of that process because honestly there's not a lot to see what's going on apart from me just adding a load of jets and just placing them you know underground so it's not that interesting. <laughs> On the finished build, which is in the gallery, uh, my gallery ID is Charlie Simshine, go check it out. Uh, the natural pool is a little bit different to the one here. This was because for some stupid reason I started to build this on a rather large lot. <laughs> and when I went to upload it, it suggested I needed to be, you know, the building needed to be on a huge lot for such a tiny build, so it looked a bit silly. So I actually placed um, the 
you know, the house itself on the smaller size lot and then slightly changed the pool just to fit it. It was just ever so slightly over. Um, again, I play tested the pool on both occasions and it is completely functional. So there we have the finished eco house. This build was much harder than I thought, trying to fit everything in and making it functional was the hardest part and took me a lot longer than I thought it would to try and put the objects in the house in different ways and make it completely work. I'm pretty happy with the outcome though. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, see you next week.